So we have the book. This is the book. There's Screechers. The, there's the book. O M G. Okay, so and this this is what society will look like when it's all said and done. Um, this shit will be eating you for breakfast, or you can become its friend. It's your fucking choice. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> hi, my uh, lovely author friend here, Christina Bergling. Bergling. <laughs> so we're we're talking about how to collab. Well, we're talking about the art collaboration specifically. Okay. So, as far as Screechers is concerned, it would be, how did you get roped into it? Okay. And then, all the other stuff we've ended up doing, and how that kind of started, and then grew legs and yeah. walked away. How I got roped into it was, I'm fairly certain, a screenshot of a Facebook conversation between you and Kevin, and you saying something to the effect of, hey, would you be interested in drawing some, you know monster stuff for this book i'm working on yeah, with this guy and i'm like familiar. you know me right like, <laughs> monsters evil <Drawing>. blood <laughs> apocalypse what once it was apocalypse i was like i know a guy <laughs> yeah it's like i'm pretty yeah so yeah let me check my pulse uh yeah of course so that yeah it wasn't really so much roped in as you kind of like just put a little bit of bait out and the shark went <laughs> um yeah, I guess the rest is history, but there was a few conversations, which I think in less than a week led to me starting to bust sketches out because, yeah. Because had you done Savages and The Waning before this one? Both of them, right? I think I'd done The Waning. I think Savages came either right before or right after this right. when you did the reprint. Right. Yeah. Um, but we had at least... We had The Waning because The Waning was... Well, yeah, the waning was kind of our first. our first foray into it together, and it, it was kind of the same thing. You would we'd started talking about it, and you're like, "Hey, would you want to draw some of this stuff?" Because you'd had the artist do the the first savages, um, and I looked at that stuff. I was like, "Oh, this is great!" You know, I, I love doing this kind of stuff. And then we've just kind of been talking. Yeah, because the first time the waning came out, the publisher did the cover, and right. then you did all that promo art. Correct. Yeah, and I did. And then the second time it came out, it needed a new cover, and I was like, "Hey, it already has promo art. Why don't we use Phil for the cover?" And they were on board. So, yeah. And then I don't even think they asked me about Savages. They're like, "We're just gonna use Phil again." Okay. So that's awesome. It's like, well, of course, use Phil again. I think as far as the collaborative process between you and I, it's pretty seamless. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, people are like, "How do you work with someone else?" I'm like. It just kind of happens. I don't know. Yeah, I think if I was a different kind of person and in a different vein of art, but branched out into this stuff once in a while, it'd be a little more difficult. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think a lot of us, we do just, we're a lot in the same headspace a lot of the time. Yeah. Just, yeah. I think if I could draw at all, there might be a problem, but I can't. Like, I, I can't. So I'm like, here are words make them a picture and the picture is so far out of my ability that I'm just so happy a picture exists that I'm like sweet but so there's no like that that's so far out of my territory that I don't I don't have any ownership there I don't care yeah <laughs> I'm not meddling over there I'm just like okay I have the words here are the words <laughs> right well which reminds me you know in my day job when I'm doing design work when I encounter clients that have either a designer or designers on their team, or have had some experience like, Oh, I opened up Photoshop once. Oh God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> then that's tough. Like you said, you, you don't take any so much. Yeah. You, you're not as particular about what's going on because you kind of can detach from it. Yeah. You're like, I, you know, I know what the words and the, and the, the concept need to be and you're comfortable handing it off yeah. and seeing what comes back. Now you have feedback, Mm -hmm. But it's not like I would have drawn that earlobe a little bit higher. It's it's more like <laughs> it's the cerebral. It's the the, the all encompassing. It's the yeah. You want to let the the other artist be an artist. You don't want them to be a minion. Yeah, if that I've, makes sense. Yeah, because I've definitely been in the minion role before. A lot of times, <laughs> it's painful. It that's, works, but I don't think that's a collaboration. Like that. That's having no. a minion. Like I want it to be like both. Both producing something, both contributing something. Yes. Yeah. If I could draw, I would draw for myself. I cannot. Right. Like, if I could write, I would write for myself, but I, my writing is just... 
I would probably write like I talk, which is just all over the fucking place. It'd just be like, wow, yeah, I got through the first paragraph, and this guy's, uh, he's not focused. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think, I think for us it works, I think it works good for a few reasons. We're a lot, we're similar in a lot of ways in terms of the conceptual stuff that stimulates us creatively. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the artwork we share constantly back and forth on Instagram and other platforms is a pretty big indicator, I think. Yeah. So we speak a lot of the same language. Yep. We're pretty frank people. We don't <laughs> dance around shit. What, what are you trying to say? You're fucking blunt. <laughs> and so am I. So it works. So we can, so we can be brutally honest with, uh, with each other and not be, be fucking devastated by I it. I like feedback to be honest because i would prefer to hear this is really shitty rather than you being like oh it's okay and let me put something shitty out into the world right and i feel like you feel the same exactly. you don't want me to be like oh yeah the picture looks great phil and then let you put something out that looks like shit yeah you want me to be like phil no no yeah try again <laughs> yeah for all these reasons do it again yeah because <laughs> so it's not Feedback's not helpful if it's bullshit. <laughs> right. And and even with Kevin, when I, because he's, you know, I've talked with him on other things and he's sent me random things on the side. Like, hey, can you check this out? And would you want to do this? It's still easy with him, even though he and I are probably not quite as alike as you and I are. Yeah. And we also don't want, we can't sit in the same room with him. Right. But <laughs> it still works pretty well. Yeah. I, I think, um. Again, the subject matter of what he writes, obviously. And I, yeah. I haven't read a lot of his other horror stuff. Um, but it, it just kind of works. I think... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for this project, Kevin and I were in the same sandbox. Like, we're both doing the writing. And I think we kind of cheated because we didn't try to mix our styles. We Instead, we're like, this is your chapter and this is your storyline. This is my chapter and this is my storyline. Yeah. And they'll cross, but we're never going to try to blend styles. Because I feel like that would have been way harder. Which is interesting, and I know you and I have talked about it before, but even though you did stick to your styles, the way it blends throughout the book is pretty seamless. Yeah. Because some authors will even do that themselves, where they pick a chapter where something's very macroscopic, mm -hmm. and talking about some big piece of the world and what's going on in a very loose timeline, and then there's that zoom in to the microscopic where they're following every breath and describing every yeah. bead of perspiration and every <laughs> cut from the monster and every, you know, footstep and creak and, you know, so it's cool because it lends itself to this kind of this format uh, and subject matter because there is, there's a lot to consider. There's the moment to moment survival and then there's the big picture of, you know, okay, we're in this apocalyptic world. What the fuck happened? How did we get here? <laughs> so I think I think, yeah, it's just, a, it just works on so many levels. And again, it just makes it easy for me to go in there. I, hell, I haven't even read most of the book and I started cranking out the art. Yeah. I think I got a few tidbits. They're like, here's some creatures. And I was just like, yep. Weird monsters. I can do apocalyptic monsters. Yeah. Um, I mean, from your perspective on the collaboration, because um, you've worked, obviously I've worked with a couple different authors, but you've worked with multiple artists over the years. What mm -hmm. What is kind of your your take on it and just from a broad perspective. I mean, this is the easiest collaboration I've ever worked on. There were three of us and there was never a part where I was like, Ooh, I, I never had to compromise. So <laughs> I just kind of rolled with everything and I was happy with everything. So, and it feels like bullshit to say, but it, it just was, it just worked. So. Yeah. I think the one that was, even though it was, still pretty easy from my perspective, but it was more of a challenge was the waning because even though I read the book ahead of time and went all through that, it was not my typical subject Did you matter. Did read that on a plane? Probably. Isn't that the one you read like up against your face on a plane? Or was that Savages? Oh, I can't remember. It was probably the waning. I know you read one when you were stressing out on a plane and I was like, why would you read a horror book when you're stressing out on a plane? Yeah. No. Yeah. I was reading it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading The Waiting on the on the plane. You gave me a early copy, and I was like, I just need something to distract me from the plane because like, yeah, being on I'm the plane. I'm stressed out on the plane, so I'm gonna read a book about being trapped in a cage. Sounds like real relaxing. The book. Show him the book. See, now when collab, <laughs> you can do the fucking like QVC. Yeah, there you go. Do the ah, and for the low low price of. 
Your uh, soul. I don't even remember how much it costs. Uh, Amazon, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Check the link. The, the link, wherever we put it. Oh, it's Instagram, so it's uh, in the bio. The bio. The bio. <laughs> Check the link in the per bio. 